So I don't know, I don't know how to start this, but things they call hard drives. The ones that the external one, they call them external because they're drives on which you put your photos and videos. It was recently when I came across what they call portable SSDs. I believe this is the new version of the external SSDs. Um, yeah, external hard drives, portable SSDs. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hard drives. From new school to old school or from old school to new school. A hard drive is something that you put on as an extension to your computer or laptop, Windows or Mac, and it's going to help you out with space to put your photos, your video and everything else. Let's get started. As the years went by, hard drives started to change. First one that I saw on the market was Samsung, the small little Samsung. Um, and then came other brands as well. This brand, they're very portable. You can put it, in, literally put it in your pocket. You could, you could actually make it your, could be part of your key holder or something, because it's really, really, really light. And even if you drop it, it's, it still stays solid. The other one, which is my favorite, and which is the, um, big deal of this video the crucial this guy right here is a beast still has the same concept like any other portable ssd but it's really 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 fast uh, it can only be fast if you are connected to a usb-c still uh, usb-c port the only downside is that it heats up so much anything you're working on that you have huge files and you don't want to be carrying around yeah you don't want to be carrying out a big, huge lessee like this, and you want to still use something this small, you would need, um, there's a new technique that I'm going to share with you that you would utilize the port portability. And also, uh, speaking of small uh, portable hard drives, um, the cable that you use matters. So speaking of cables, I got these cables right here, which are really, really powerful. I strongly recommend this one. There's going to be a link in the description. This usually costs more than any other regular cable. Um, this guy too costs a little more than any other, but at least, I mean, you, you have a longer uh, stretch out for your SSD, you can put it anywhere. But speaking of just these short cables, they could come in handy when you are working on your laptops, as I'm gonna share with you. So it requires a few tools to put together. It should be an easy one. Of course, you're gonna need a laptop. It could be Windows, it could be Mac, whatever laptop it is, and I'm gonna share this method. Definitely, we need a computer. The portable SSD itself, the short cable. We need a pair of scissors, and we need some Velcro. The purpose of the Velcro is to stick this external um, SSD to your computer in the back right here where you cut it through and stick it to the back of your portable SSD. So this is a bit of some work though. Let's take off the sticky beads. So this is the one that goes to the laptop, I see. So I'm gonna stick this other half to the SSD. See, so stick it all the way to the back. Plug in your SSD and snap. That's it. So it means you can work very easily as opposed to having, uh, as opposed to having, usually sometimes people have them here. Serves the purpose of a portable SSD. See? Nice and easy. All right, we're gonna head to parks. Possible answers and questions. Yes and no. Yes, if it's a very, very fast cable. This cable right here is thunder. Well, I strongly recommend if you use the cables that ship with the SSDs, use those ones. They, they, they work really well. These, they're very, very light. Trust me, they're really, really, really light. So 
yes yes i still do mostly usb 3.0 type All right, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. Hope the video was helpful. Share the video, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. See ya.